Dear colleagues, welcome to today's session on performance within the context of SAP Business by Design. As this slide indicates, I titled it the permanent quest for excellence, perfor excellent performance. So good performance is never good enough. We all know that. And I would like to talk to you today about many of the things that we do in SAP to ensure that you will enjoy a great performance. But I will also talk about the fact that the lion's share of the performance that you will observe actually lies in your hands. Before I talk about what performance is made up and how you can influence it, I thought, why don't we start with a little demo of SAP Business by Design. It's a Friday evening, I'm in my home office here, so for sure I don't have a better network set up than what you should have in your company. And if I now log on to my system and I do a very quick run through the, uh, through the infrastructure here, then let's assume I want to do a bit of project management. So I use the launch pad to go directly into a selection of my projects. I pick one specific project that I'm interested in. I want to see the entire project plan with a GAN chart. Let's expand all of the activities. Down here, I have all of the related information. Let's assume that my question would be, well, what is the related CRM sales order to this project? Then I can see the sales tracking information. And if I click here on document flow, the system will retrieve the information. I can see this is the sales order. Here's the project, the invoice request. Here's the customer invoice. And if for the sake of this demo, I want to see what this invoice is all about. I can click here on preview and the system will generate for me the PDF that went out to the customer. That much as a typical run through in a by design system with a fairly challenging business process. And this is the performance that you should be able to experience in your environment. If we now come back to the slide, what happened whenever I did a user action, I clicked on a specific tile, I clicked on document flow and so on and so on. So I raise an event in the system and then this data package travels back to the SAP data center. And the first thing we need to talk about is the network latency, which should be in the range of 200 to 400 milliseconds in my case, it's a little bit better than that. We will see that in a minute. Then the data package gets processed in the SAP data center, both on the database server as well as the corresponding application servers. And the average dialog step takes about 800 milliseconds. The result will be packaged up and sent back to the front end of the user. So we have the second time the network latency and we send that piece of information to the local browser, be it Chrome, be it Edge, be it Internet Explorer 11, whatever you want to use. The local browser in itself has a rendering time and that depends now on the size of the machine that you're using as a front-end machine. It heavily depends on whether you have installed add-ons in your corresponding browsers that can be any time between 500 and 1000 milliseconds. From time to time to display a certain piece of information requires more than one round trip. So very often we visualize something, make it actionable immediately, and then we display, display additional data. Therefore, I said the average round, the average dialogue step comprises of 1.6 dialogue steps. For example, if it's a very short list, it's one. If it is a very long list, it can be multiple round trips. Which means the total end-to-end -end response time that the user experiences is at least the 200 milliseconds here, the 800 milliseconds here, 200 milliseconds back, and the 500 to 1000 milliseconds on average I would guess, or not guess, but I can see in our system about 2.2 to 2.8 seconds, which also means the 800 milliseconds is just a third of the total response time that you will see 
that is under SAP's control. Everything else is very much in your hands and we need to collaborate. Collaboration means that we send out an email to each and every customer every month telling them about what the performance is. From all of the statistics that we know is that everything which is below three seconds is good. Three to four seconds is tolerable. Everything above four seconds is way too slow. But that is here the view for one specific customer. Um, intentionally, I picked a customer with about 800 users live every month. Simply, um, if it's a very small customer with 10 users, it may very well be um, that we see a bit more of a zigzag line. The larger the number of users, obviously, the better the result is. And what we see here in this graph is that this customer has a network latency even below 200 milliseconds, has an average backend response time in the range of 700 plus milliseconds, and then a total end-to-end -end response time round about two seconds and on that specific day they had 34,235 dialogue steps so quite a lot what we also provide this customer with is a list of what are the work center views that you're using the most frequently what is the end-to-end -end response time there so that is an important information to assess how fast or how slow the system is the next information that we have and that we share with our customers is what are the 10 worst work centers that you have. As long as the number of round trips here is low, for example, form template maintenance, so somebody worked on the forms, on the print forms, or whichever forms you're using, then I would say these six seconds here is not exactly great, but it's a job which is very heavy in the back end because we work with a lot of metadata. Um, therefore, it is okay-ish. Here, the time recording, 10,000 dialogue steps, about four seconds, that is too slow. So that is an area uh, where I would sit down with a customer and say, okay, what can we do in this environment? The next step is that we also can put the data in contrast. We can say, okay, this is now a very large customer. I would say my normal customers rather have 80 to 100 users and not 800 users. So you can see what is the ratio between what this customer specifically does and what we see on average. And on average, we see that this customer here has an end-to-end -end response time of 1.92 seconds, whereby um, this sample that we've taken here is 2.3 seconds. We have a network latency of 160 milliseconds, which is great, and we see an average of nearly 400 milliseconds for all of our cu other customers. And we have here the server response time of 0.68 seconds. Uh, that is in line with what the majority of these customers in that specific data center with 0.66 seconds also see. Obviously, response time is not only a function of the dialogue performance, but also of the batch performance. For example, we have customers who load and offload vast amount of data via batch jobs. We have customers who generate quite a heavy load via web services. We have other customers who add a lot of business capabilities to by design. So total application response time comprises of all of those parameters. But as you could see, with roughly 800 milliseconds in the back end, the number is fairly good. What I did here was, and, and I did that earlier this year, I looked at the total response time uh, only for productive customers in a specific data center, and these are the curves that I get. So I see here um, the peak at 700, 750 milliseconds response time in the back end. I see the network latency, the peak here, at somewhere 300 plus milliseconds. Um, but you can see that the curve is, is not very steep. I would love to see it a lot steeper, but we have, uh, for example, customers in the Arab part of the world where uh, one second is, is the average. Uh, I have customers in China 
where 700 milliseconds is the average. Therefore, the curve looks as it does. And then the total curve end-to-end -end response time, you can see the peak in the range of 2.2 seconds. So that is what you can expect performance-wise from business by design. As said, SAP influences about 30% of the end-to-end -end performance, and we obviously work on that. It is very important that you keep the network latency under control and that you work with your telco provider. Um, and I'll come back to that. The network should be close to symmetric. Close to symmetric means uh, there's a ratio between your download speed and the upload speed. Download speed, upload speed in a one-to-one -one ratio would be a symmetrical line. Mostly, telco providers will offer you an asymmetric line. For example, for a digital private person, uh, who watches um, Netflix, things like that. A ratio of 1 to 16, 1 megabit upload, 16 megabit download is great. For a business by design system, a ratio of 1 to 16 is not what you want to have. You want to have at least 1 to 3 because the amount of data that you download is not all that big, but you send also a lot of data back to business by design. Do yourself a favor, use the latest browsers uh, with the HTML5 user interface as you've seen it in my demo. Also use fast enough machines and be careful with uh, power consumption. The power consumption allows you to turn down the clock speed of a machine significantly. And that again has a big impact on the rendering time. So keep the machine fast. In case your partner adds add-ons to your business by design system, ask them for the backend performance and monitor that one. The same applies for web service consumption and for backend jobs. There is no need that you run a full MRP run every five minutes simply because you can do it for most companies once a day. It is absolutely sufficient. One additional topic on the browsers, be careful with the add-ons that you are using. Uh, I've seen companies who were using, for example, a Skype add-on in the Internet Explorer, which easily added another 1000 milliseconds. So what can you do? Um, and SAP published a little network performance check tool. Um, I added the link down here. And when you start this one, it measures the network to the next SAP data center. So as I'm here in Europe, I'm uh, using that one. And the system now runs for me a couple of tests. It measures the latency on the network um, plus a couple of other parameters. It takes a while. You see this bar here. We are now at 53%. And once the system is done and it has analyzed the performance situation, it will tell you the summary result on how the bandwidth and how the latency was. This is just a first indication. The system even creates an email for you that you can also send to SAP. So in my case here from my home office, uh, I had a very good situation because I only had a latency of 41 milliseconds, so way below the 200 milliseconds, uh, which I claim are a good performance. And I have a bandwidth of 7.26 megabit download speed, which is good. Uh, what the system doesn't tell me, I have an upload speed of below one megabit, which is sufficient for the demo, but which wouldn't be sufficient if you have multiple users. So that as a first indication on what you can do and why, why the responsibility for performance is a joint one between us and yourselves. With that, I hope you found this presentation useful on what you can expect performance-wise from Business by Design. If you observe a different performance or if certain users observe a different performance, um, please open a ticket, reach out to us. We have performance experts uh, who can give you a hint on what can be done. Obviously, uh, we can't do a lot when it comes to optimizing your local infrastructure. That is something uh, which you can do then with your service providers. But as always, we are here to help you. With that, thanks a lot. 
and have a great day.